Squarespace scheduling tutorial. Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Squarespace appointment booking website. In order to do that, you want to come on over to Squarespace and then under products, you want to go to scheduling appointments over here, which will get you to this web page, all in one appointment management, everything you need to schedule anything. Squarespace scheduling helps you automate everything from payments to reminders. That's great. As you can see, working 24 seven to fill your schedule, simplicity meets power, tools for every business, and then calendar coordination, streamlined payments, customized communication, subscription, gift cards, packages, even video referencing, conferencing, and custom intake forms, and all these things are possible with Squarespace scheduling. So let's start by clicking try scheduling. Now in here, you can create your account or log in with one, and then you want to tick add on on do not want to receive emails about fe features and products. You can then go ahead and click Google, use your email or click more options. I'll just go with Google. Now that you're here, it says starting your scheduling trial because I haven't paid yet. So this is just a trial to show you in the video, but I would recommend you start with the trial to see if this works out. Now we'll finish the four steps to make scheduling easy and fast. Now let's say business name, let's say now our industry, you can choose whatever your industry is, massage therapy and all these things, beauty salon, our time zone is Paris, we'll click next. Now set up your first appointment here, you'll be able to create more appointments and classes later. Name, duration, you can change this. Let's say it takes us 45 minutes to do a full makeup and our price will be set at $50. Let's go next, set up your availability. These are the times when people are able to book their appointments with you. Let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So every weekday except and not on the we weekend. So these are the ones we have. Now let's say 8, 9 a.m. to noon and 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. is our availability. So you have a lunch break. We can also say Let's say we're working from 8 a.m. to noon and from 2 p.m. 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. There we go. Now we can change this for every day. Let's say 8 a.m. to 12 to noon and 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. this time because we have something to do on Wednesday we only work to noon so let's say 8 a.m to noon on Thursdays we work our regular hours so 8 a.m. to noon and 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. same on Fridays so let's say 8 a.m. to noon and 2 p.m. p.m. to 7 p.m. Then click next. You can now receive online payments. So you can connect Stripe, Square and PayPal to get paid online. Charge and save credit details, collect deposits, accept tips and all these things. You can connect them over here by clicking connect. I won't do that. I'll click just skip now. So as you can see, this is how it looks. Now set your availability. That's what we did. As you can see here. Choose the hours you accept bookings from clients. That's what we did. As you can see, our 8 a.m. To, to noon and 2 p.m. to 7. These are our regular work hours every week. And as you can see, this is how it looks. You can then have rooms, which is use resources when you have more staff than things that your appointments rely on, like rooms or cars. So if you have a couple more staff than you yourself, you can go to rooms and create new resources, which will then allow you to schedule for your staff. 
next one would be to customize your scheduling page. So click that. Now expand the preview. And we're currently on daily. So this is how our page looks like. How to global, recurring, you can then log in. Choose an appointment, full makeup for 45 minutes at $50. And then you can choose a time over here. As you can see, tomorrow is Wednesday. So we're only working till noon. So these are the available ones. I think this looks good, but you can also choose monthly. So the people can say, I want a full makeup. And then they choose the day over here, say the third. And then this opens up the available times. So I think the daily one looks better in my opinion. So this is how it would look for the person. Now, there you go, close it. You could then choose your business name, which we already entered. You could then upload a logo over here. This can either be a JPEG and all these things by clicking choose file, or you can create one if you don't have one yet. So let's create one. Let's go to the Squarespace logo creator, company name, enter how to glo global. Let's go, click the arrow. And this is a very basic editor, as you can see. We just have a couple of icons over here. Now that we're a makeup one, we can search for makeup, maybe. Now, as you can see, we have all these things. So let's remove the star. With a lipstick and as you can see this already looks quite good in my opinion now we can add a tagline so let's say beauty from within and that's our new logo once you're happy with it you can click save logo in the bottom left. Here you can see a couple of ways it will look like. So click save logo. You can now download it. And now you can choose whether it's a white background and in black, black ground and in white, or as a PNG. Let's say you want the first one. So click download. It is now downloaded. Go back to your customizing the appearance of your schedule you can then choose file and we have now successfully uploaded our logo we just created now there are scheduling instructions as you can see the first thing shown to clients on your clients scheduling page is your scheduling instructions so you can then write any instructions here to show your clients before they book an appointment so let's say let's say Bring your own make up for a ten dollar to, to save ten dollars. Now that when they book, they can see they can bring their own makeup. And that would then only cost them 40 euros or dollars in this case. So you can say it starts on Monday. Time format would be 24 hours, language English, and then time zone. You can also say require clients to choose their time zone when booking. If you have an international business, this wouldn't be the case for a for a business that does makeup locally, but that's okay. We can then change the font from Source Sans Pro to something different. And now we can change the button and accent colors to this, let's say this light yellowish. And now we're good to go. Click save changes. And we have now successfully customized the way our page looks. You can now sync it with other calendars like Google Calendar and these things. So you can get reminders on your phone I won't do that yet or now. And now you can view live. And this is how our page looks.
this is the logo we just made. We can then return it and then they can log in. As you can see, bring your own makeup to save $10. Choose an appointment, time zone over here, Paris. And then you can choose, let's say 9.30, continue. And then now they fill out their information, confirmation, and they have successfully scheduled an appointment.